We need more of these. Hi, I'm Chris Smiley and I drive for Accelerate Motorsport. This season so far has gone really well. You know, for me it's a brand new team, it's a brand new manufacturer into the, the BTCC and, uh, you know, to come away at our first weekend at Donington Park with a second place um, and, and obviously to lead the race as well uh, is, a, is a massive achievement for me and the team. It really sort of gave us a confidence going forward that yes, we can do this. Me and Senna are, are normally a few tenths, you know, either way from each other, so Whenever he's two tenths faster than me or I'm two tenths faster than him, it's usually in a, in, a, in a part of the circuit where we can look at it and say, well, A, I'm not braking late enough, B, I'm braking too late, I'm, I'm carrying a little bit too much speed, or, you know, it's, it's good to have someone who's pretty much on the same page as me. Hi, I'm Bobby Thompson from GKR, Trade Price Cars Racing. You can probably hear by my accent, I sound nothing like Jiggy whatsoever. So I'm like the window cleaner and he's the, he's, and he's the butler. <laughs> really, really great guy, really good teammate as well. You know, we, we bounce off each other. Although he hasn't done touring cars before, uh, he's got years of experience on me and where I can maybe help him a few little ways where I've done touring cars this being my third year, so yeah. You know, I'm fortunate race free, but we still come home with the Jack Sears trophy and some, and some champagne. Uh, mega, yeah, it's good to have a, a teammate, you know, you can uh, share data with and actually compare stuff with. He's a quick guy and he's a good, good, good guy to have next to me in the garage and I can trust him with everything, he's a good lad. Jake had a good one here last year. Uh, we'd love to build on that and have another weekend like that. That'd be absolutely mega. I think we've got a good block to, to start on, set up wise. Um, and if rain or dry, I don't mind. So I'm, I'm hoping for points. My name's Ollie Jackson. I drive for Motorbase Performance. Got off to a really good start, really promising first couple of rounds. Had a little bit of a lull in the meantime, unfortunately, but uh, for me, it's always about building, about progress. Yeah, we're completely open. With, with Motorbase, there's, there's no, um, no barriers between the, the, the drivers. So, you know, we're, we completely see each other's data. Um, we, we know what each other's setups are. We know what the changes are going to each session. We have debriefs and talk about what each session, which each change does in each session. So, you know, it's, it's completely open at Motorbase. Rory's obviously, he's, he's quick. Um, he's, um, he's a good guy as well. I mean, I've worked with Rory in the past at AMD, although there was a little bit of demarcation between the, the two teams. So it wasn't a, a proper teammate relationship, if you see what I mean. We get on really well. Um, he's, um, you know, he's really constructive. We, we help each other a lot. flag at the back, we look towards the five second board, the red lights are already on, very quick turnaround here, off go the lights, and it's another killer start for Rory Butcher, that was a power move by Tom Oliphant there, and Tom Oliphant takes Smiley at the top of Duffus, that was a good move, from the hairpin towards the checkered flag here at Knock Hill Racing Circuit, Rory Butcher wins race number three at Knock Hill, Senna Proctor will take second place. <laughs> hey. Okay. 
Look, it was really tough. Uh, we didn't really seem to have the pace and that puts you further back than where you want to be. Uh, we were just fighting it all the time really and then I had a little mishap in race one which uh, which really messed me up, put me out of that race as well as Andy Neat as well. So a, a little a little embarrassing actually to run into the back of someone behind the safety car but then I do feel like circumstances went against me. When I came over a blind crest they'd stopped. <laughs> There's a wall of cars in front of me. I had nowhere to go. It was too late by then. And race two they, the, the boys did a really good job to get the car back out but we still had some problems. I think when we got to the grid, I had the power steering fell because the alternator belt fell off uh, during the safety car. And so then for the last, what was it, two thirds, three quarters of the race, I was riding around with no power steering, which was quite hard work. I wasn't gonna go any faster and I was just waiting to see if anyone else fell off. So yeah, I need to just chill out for a little bit. Really pleased with race one. Um, we'd struggled all of Saturday to try and find a rhythm and some pace around my home track, which has felt, felt weird. We managed to qualify six and then make our way up to P5 in, in race one. And uh, I was quite pleased to get past Kamish, who's definitely a contender in the championship. But in race two, I had a bit of a plan in my head what I wanted to do. I felt like I could go forward. I got a really good start. And uh, yeah, I got frustrated just overdriving and um, you know ended up dropping down the order to P10. Had to regroup after that and sit, sit down with the team. Taking the, the first win in, in, on the road in the new car, it was an unbelievable feeling. And um, doing it on the, the home track, it was so special. And it was just, it was actually a really pleasant race. It, you know, usually in, in, in this championship, you don't really get much time to breathe, but finally found a, 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 a good rhythm around the circuit. Uh, which I didn't have in uh, the first two races. The first two races I got really bad starts and then I pushed on as hard as I could after that. We were struggling a little bit with the car, um, just, just lack of rotation really. Um, for me it's just all about collecting points, you know, like, like the first two races um, just plodded away, then, then that third race we really went for it. Yeah, you know, finishing second in that last race I, w I was very happy with. Um, you know, for me it was, you know, I've had podiums before, I've, I've had a win and, and whatnot. It, for me it was, I was just so chuffed for all the boys and girls at Accelerate Motorsport. You know, they, they've they put in a monumental effort building a brand new car. You know, they're a relatively young team in the BTCC. And I think me and me and Chris are doing a good job to develop the car. Um, we're kind of doing live test sessions at the weekend. So, you know, ideally we'd have liked a bit more testing time, but yeah, like you say, the, the feeling for me going over the line was immense because it just repays all, all the boys and girls at Accelerate Motorsport. I, I've, I wouldn't say I've struggled with August, but I'm certainly feeling it now. Uh, this is a good way to the end of the month of August. You know, maybe uh, I maybe I'd like to maybe one more podium out of this month. But um, yeah, we're going to one of my favourite tracks in the country next, Fruxton. So I think we should be all right. You know, I think the car will go well around there, and I think we'll be challenging for the uh, for the top spots again.